Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement dino dungeon, okay? So this is the place where we keep all our animals as well as our dinosaurs collections, okay? So today we will be doing an update of our shark collection, okay? Because recently we have actually added plenty of new shark figurines Plenty of them, okay? So let's have a look at every single one of of them so let's go all right guys so let's begin okay this one it's basically one of our latest ones uh we got this from um an online shop and this is basically an imagine next um shock if you move this the tail will actually move which is kind of cool um then there's a, there's a button right here for you to open up its jaw so it's a very very cool one um, I put all of these figures into this little box right here, okay? Next, this one is probably one of our best looking or perhaps the best Megalodon figure in our entire collection. Um, it's a figure from PNSO. It's really beautiful. I love it. Um, it's really big, so there's no way we can keep it inside this small little drawer. So we keep it inside this box, okay? Next, we have a... I would say this is a great white shark. I wouldn't call this a Megalodon. I mean, it could pass on as a Megalodon. It's also a very cool one. We got this from our local Toys R Us, I think so. Yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. It actually says um, Megalodon shark. Oh, so it's a Megalodon. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. This one, we also got it from Toys R Us. It's more like a cartoonish depiction of a goblin shark. Looks very nice. This is another goblin shark. So goblin sharks, they are quite hideous looking. They can actually extend their mouth and um, yeah, it looks kind of weird. So we have two goblin sharks right here. I think there is another goblin shark in our collection. We'll take a look at it later on. Let's see whether, whether we are able to find it. Okay, this is probably one of our latest collection as well. A really, really beautiful purple figurine of a great white shark very very nice i think Papo they produce fantastic figurines so there's no doubt about that this one what is this it's a basking shark but of course it doesn't really look like a basking shark this one we got it from a playset i can't really know like you know i can't really remember which playset but this one is definitely a better looking basking shark um this is from collector if i'm not wrong yeah it's a 2020 figure so it's relatively new it's just like like two years old some of our figures was like from 1990s so it, it has got to be one of the um, newer figures sawfish yep 1994 pretty old figure we have about three to four sawfishes in our collection so we'll take a look at every single one of them later on blue shark um, yeah, this is a blue shark. Quite a nice one. Our one and only blue shark. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This one, it's one with plenty of um, articulation. You can, you're able to move the jaw, you're able to move the front part of the head. Um, the flippers, these two flippers can move as well. The tail can be moved. Although the quality is not very good, but I think it's actually a quite a nice figure. Here is one from Toys R Us, I think so. Pretty cute little one. It's made of quite flimsy material, um, but it's kind of cool. You can press the jaw and um, maybe you can press this fin. The jaw will move and you can find like plenty of battle scars on its body. Pretty cool figure, I would say. This one, it's a also a Papo shark, I think. It looks like a great white shark. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure because it's not very accurately done. This one is a Megalodon from Safari LTD. You can see it has like three rows of teeth um, below and three on top, which is very, very nice. Megalodon 2013 Safari LTD figure. Cool figure. This is one of our, you know, stretchy and um, rubbery figures. Kind of cute, but not the best looking for sure. Not too sure what this is probably a blue shark here's another megalodon we have two of them exactly the same just now i'll show you guys one of them yep we have two of them exact same sculpt exact same manufacturer 
This it's a shock ray, if I'm not wrong. Let's have a look. Yep, shock ray from Collecte, 2017. Five years old, this figure. Yeah, I think a shock ray is actually shock. I am not too sure. I can't remember. So if you guys know, comment down below. We have a tiger shot right here. This is from um, Safari LTD 1993 figure. We have two of them. As you guys can see, here's the other one. So tiger shocks. We have a couple of tiger shocks, maybe not more than five. Here's another one, a smaller one, pretty cute one. Let's see what else we've got. Um, This one is a hammerhead shock 1996 figure. We have plenty of hammerhead shocks. In our collection, here's another one. This one is the squishy and stretchy type, and uh, it's it's very cool. It's it's basically filled with like little beans inside, yeah, so it's very very soft and um, fun to touch. Here's another ha hammerhead shark, and this is supposed to be a baby, which is why they have painted the eyes like you know, kind of like adorable in a very adorable way. But I don't find them realistic enough. Twenty zero six. Hammerhead shock baby. What what does what does I see means? I have no idea. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is a prehistoric sea creature. I wouldn't call it a shock because I'm not exactly sure whether it's closely related to the uh, modern day shocks. This is a helicoprion which has a rotary blade of teeth. Yeah, pretty cool looking. Let's see what else we've got. This shock it's from um, Bully Land, if I'm not wrong, and I feel that this one is perhaps a bootleg. The quality is like really bad. The pin is like wearing off. Yeah, not the best looking shock for sure. I'm gonna put this one inside this box. Fruit shock, our well, one and only fruit shock. F R I L L E D fruit shock. Okay. And um, what is this? This is a scallop hammerhead shock. I think we have two of them, if I'm not wrong. I'm gonna put this one here. Um, this is another hammerhead shock from Safari LTD 1991. This has got to be our oldest figure, 1991. Yeah, pretty cool one. Um, let's see what else we've got. Another squishy shock. This is a brown shock, so it could be a sand shock. Not too sure. No idea what this is. This could be a black tip reef shock because you can find some black tips around the fins. On the fins, I mean. Um, let's see. Basking shock. I think this came in the set. Not the best looking or, or the most high quality one. As you guys can see, a lot of paint is wearing off. Um, this is another great white from Papo. We have two of them, two exact same figures. Here's a squishy little one. This is perhaps a great white. I think so. Shock Ray from Safari LTD. I think. Yep, pretty nice one. Twenty zero seven. Pretty old as well. Um, it's like fifteen years old. And um, no idea what this is. Perhaps a pointer shock. And here is another one, which is the um. Let's just call this a megalodon. It's. It's, it looks much bigger than a great white, so let's just call this a Megalodon. This one is a great white for sure. It's a Safari LTD figure and um, from 2016, so it's only six years old. Relatively new in my collection, as you guys can see. Thrasher Shock, one of the most easily recognizable shocks um, out there because it has this fin or this tail, which is extremely long. It looks like a blade. Yep. So if I'm not wrong, Thrasher Shock actually used their tail to thrash out at little fish to give them like a stun before they um before it actually attacks them. This is um a black tip reef shock if I'm not wrong. Yep, that's right. Let's see what else we've got. A bow shock, one of the most aggressive species of sharks out there. There are actually more reports of attack on humans by a bull shark um, as compared to a great great white nurse shark you can easily recognize this by the little two fang like structures in front of his face nurse shark 2015 safari ltd figure and here is one let's just call this a ghost shark yeah it's kind of like translucent yeah you can clearly see like the beats inside his body kind of cool 
And here's the um, Peppo Shock again. The Peppo Great White. We have two of them, like what I mentioned. And here's a Hammerhead, you know, from the same series as what we have seen just now in the box. Plenty of articulation. One on the head. The flippers can move, the tail can move, pretty cool. But the movement and the joints are not very smooth. So it's actually quite a poor quality figure, but I love the sculpt. The sculpt is great. This is another sawfish, as you guys can see. Sawfish. Yep. Um, 2014 figure. And here it's a lemon shark. Very nice little shark right here. 2016 Safari LTD. And um, this it's a grey reef shark. Very nice. 2018. Nice one. And here it's a zebra shark, I think. Zebra sharks and leopard sharks, they are basically the same breed or you know same species of sharks just you know the patterns will change when they grow yep so this is another great white not the best looking shark i would say this is not a you know one of the better ones the hammerhead shark baby we have two of them yes there are many figures which we have duplicates some we didn't purchase it intentionally some of them we just purchased them you know we didn't know that we don't have it this is a great white um, from Schleich and um, it's quite an old figure. It's starting to turn like yellowish. Zebra shark or you can call this a leopard shark as well. 2013 figure from Collecte. And here's another shark ray but this is from um, Schleich I think. This is a Mako shark. Okay, Mako shark. I'm gonna put this one right here because there is a short fin Mako shark. With that, I want to show you guys. And this, it's a Mega Mouth Shark. One of the very, very rare sharks out there that you can only find like really deep down in the ocean. It's really hard to find. The figures are also extremely hard to find. Hammerhead Shark, another one that's from um, Safari LTD as well. This is a Sand Tiger Shark. Um, What I heard is that they may look super ferocious looking, but they are actually like... You know, pretty gentle and docile and pretty timid. Here's another scallop hammerhead shark. We have two of them. I think this is supposed to be not too sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure that it has a name written right below. Let's make a guess. It does not look like a basking shark. It looks perhaps like a uh, wow. What is this? Like lemon shark? Let's let's see. Um. It doesn't say, it basically gives you the um, scientific name Megachasma Palagois. No idea what's that. If you guys know, let me know down below. Okay. Blo White Tip Rift Shark. 2018 Safari LTD figure. Yeah, our one and only White Tip Rift Shark. And here's another Hammerhead. We have two of them from the same series. Goblin Shark. So, how many Goblin Sharks do we have? One, two, three. This one is um from. I think this is from Safari. I mean, I think this is from um Twice or Ross. I'm not exactly sure. It's a very nice one. I I feel the quality is pretty good, and it also has its name written on the side, which is awesome. I love the figures with the name written on um you know on its body. Like for example, this one, it doesn't have. So I don't really know like what kind of shark this is. Sharks with sharks. Perhaps you can Google like shark with spots, and this is perhaps a pointer shark. With this one, it's probably a shark ray. Let's see, zebra shark. Uh, it doesn't look like a zebra shark. It doesn't have the spots. It doesn't have the stripes. So this one is a thrasher shark, hundred percent. It's easily recognizable. Yep. So we have two thrasher sharks in our um, collection. Bonnet head shark. Um, which is kind of like similar to a hammerhead, but the hammer head right here. It's actually much shorter 2016 Safari LTD figure another um, zebra shark right here Okay, or we can call this a leopard shark. Oh, I didn't know that we actually have two of them guys exactly the same ones Let's see. Here's a big one. This one. It's from Collecte a great white I think this was given to us by a Gen Safarian. Very, very nice figure, I would say. 
and um, this one I think some of you guys actually told me the name of this but I I have forgotten about it yeah <laughs> I beg your pardon this is probably a boo shock I have no idea it doesn't have the name um leopard shock yep leopard shock right here I mean you can call it a zebra shock as well this is a robber gang okay robber gang another thrasher shock we have two of them pretty cute ones I would say this one oh what is this ghost shock I think many of you guys have told me before but I can't remember so yep this is a great white a pretty nice one I really love how they have sculpted the jaw and the teeth it looks kind of like gruesome basking shock from Safari LTD I think this is from 2016 if I'm not wrong let's see oh no it's a 2007 figure pretty old Let's see what else we've got. This is an oceanic white tip shock. Okay? 2019 figure. Okay, what is this? Rubber gang? Spotted rubber gang. Nice, but where are the spots? I don't see any spots. Um, this is the short fin Mako shock, guys. So previously I've told you guys that we have a Mako shock, and this is the short fin Mako shock. Nice. And um, here we have a great white. Um, a small little sawfish. This it's a um, mega mouth shark. We have plenty of mini figures right here. Let's have a look at all of them together. Okay, so this one, no idea. This is most likely a great white. This is a whale shark, hundred percent. Perhaps it shouldn't be in this box. This is a silver shock. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Yeah, it looks like super, super aerodynamic. This is perhaps a um, black tip reef shock, I think, because it has like black tips all over. Hammerhead, for sure. Great white. Another one of this. You know, it could be a Mako shock. I think so. This one, it's most likely a Mako shock or a blue shock. This is a great white. This is the, um, the leopard shark that they have uh, written. I mean, it's a zebra shark. Pretty cool. A um, couple of um, small figures right here. This is a perhaps most likely a zebra shark. Okay. Uh, a pretty nice one. Great white. Wow. Why does this camera head has like black tips? This is something new to me. This is a bamboo shark. Yeah, a nice one. It looks a little bit like a nurse shock. Let's move over here because we still have um, a few more. A robber gang. This is a... No idea what this is called. This looks like a zebra shock. And... Um, four minifigures right here. Great white. Hammerhead. Blue shock or Miko shock. Sawfish. Alright, thanks for watching this video guys. I will do a collection update of dolphins, whales and um, you know, all cars and stuff really soon in our next video. Okay, thanks for watching this. Goodbye.